Okay, friends. So uh, I am back again with another theorem, and we are going to prove today that the sum of all the angles around a point is equal to three sixty degrees. It's uh, a knowledge which you have uh, acquired, you know, some time back, and now it's time to prove it. So, hence the question is, or the statement is, the sum of all the angles around a point is equal to three sixty degree. What does it even mean? So, let's say I have a point P. and there are lots of angles which is let's say having a vertex p okay so lots of angles are possible yep so lots of angles are possible with vertex p so i am just drawing drawing them okay so let's say like that so there are lots of angles around point p let's name them so let's say this is a this is b this is c d and e okay how many angles five five angles are you know seen direct angles there are many more angles for example angle b e e is also an angle but then we are considering only these which one so let's say this is uh x or let's say you know some other names let's say um yeah let's say this is a small a this is b small b small c d and e okay so you have to prove that a plus b plus c Plus D plus E is always three sixty degrees. Okay, so if you add all the angles around a point, it will give you three sixty degrees. How to prove that? Always remember whatever uh, knowledge we had or we have so far, we will be using that only to prove it. Now, one way is you can just uh, do one thing, and what is that? You can draw a straight line, straight line like that, passing through. Point P, and let's the let's name them M and N. Okay, now if you see A plus B plus C plus D plus E can be written as so. If you see A itself, A itself is a sum of let's say I am now uh, naming it as A one and A two, two parts, right? So this P M ray divides. Angle A P E into two parts such that uh, A is equal to. So I'm writing this here. A is equal to clearly A one plus A two. Similarly, D. Let's say this is D one and this is D two. So I can also write D is equal to D one plus D two, isn't it? Now let's um, try to rewrite this statement. So hence this statement will become. What will it become? It means A can be written as A one plus A two plus B plus C plus D one plus D two plus E. Okay, right now I can club few of them. So let's say, can I not club A uh, C and D one? So let me let me club like this. So this entire thing can be rewritten as C plus D one within brackets. So I have just picked these two up and written in the first place. C plus D one plus B plus A two. Okay, so this also I have clubbed together. So B plus A two. Then I am writing um, D two plus E. So I am clubbing D two plus E together. So these two are also gone. What is left? Only A one plus A one. Right. The, if you look carefully, the same thing is written over here. Okay. Now what? C plus D one. If you see C plus D one, guys, what is C plus D one? So C plus D one is this angle, and C is this angle. So C plus D one will be nothing but this whole angle. So and hence I can write that is this directly is equal to angle B P N, is it? And B plus A two. If you see, this is B. This is B. This is A two. This is A two. So B plus A two is angle B P. M, okay. Now you write them together, and then D two plus E. So if you see, this is D two, this one is D two, and this is E. So D two plus E is nothing but angle N P E, and A one can be directly written as angle E P M, and club them together as well. Now what is this? If you see closely, this is a linear pair. Isn't it? Ray OB stands on line MN, and hence this is a linear pair, and this is also a linear pair. Which ray? Row OE 
stands over mn and hence this is also a linear pair so hence you can write this as 180 degrees for this linear pair plus another 180 degrees for this linear pair okay so hence total is nothing but 360 degrees okay now this is what you had to prove it okay so hence at any point so however how many numbers of rays are there doesn't matter so let's say this is yep these are all different rays okay and on all originating from point same point so let's say this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six this is seven so angle one plus angle two plus angle three plus angle four plus angle five plus angle 6 plus angle 7 will always be equal to 360 degrees okay you can think it, think it in this way as well so if you keep on adding rays all the rays are like that keep on adding infinitely many rays if you add it will eventually make a disk isn't it it will turn out to be a you know it will form a disk or a circle so hence at the center the circle always makes 360 degrees angle is it okay so this is what was the objective of this theorem so i hope you understood this theorem and its proof